I had a um, gig over the weekend in uh, Italy, um, maybe three three hours outside of Rome, and that was really good to get out and see people and play a little bit, play a little blues for the people in Italy. That was really a lot of fun. And wow, a lot of things happened since I was uh, on, you know, gone for a couple days. Wow, we lost one of the greatest guitar players of all time, Mr. Peter Green. So I'd definitely like to say, you know, my condolences to Peter Green and his family. And also, I would like to say um, happy birthday to Mr. Michael Bloomfield. Michael Bloomfield. Two iconic guitar players. I mean, just amazing. And it's funny because those two guitar players I came to um, later you know, I didn't hear those records and things when they first came out. You know, my generation was more of the Stevie Ray Vaughan generation. And I always just was a crate digger and went back farther and farther back and found out all these different people. But, you know, a big person from the 60s for me was Jimi Hendrix, you know. But I later, about high school or so or after, I got the um, CD Live at the Shrine. And that was the thing that really... Um, set my soul on fire, <laughs> live at the Shrine Fleetwood Mac with Peter Green and Danny Kerwin. And that was the thing that kind of um, lit the fire for me with that, you know, incredible vibrato and the uh, reverb just going crazy and the tone and everything. I just went on this crazy Peter Green binge, you know, in high school. And then a later, you know, guys like Robin Ford and all of my, a lot of my heroes told me about Mike Bloomfield. And, you know, being younger, you know, I didn't really connect all the dots, you know, until I really, the thing that really, well, a few records that really made me connect the dots with um, Mike Bloomfield was the um, live adventures, you know, when they played together um, 
Al Cooper and Mike Bloomfield, the um, first one and the second one too, you know, as well as the Nick Gravenitis, thanks to uh, my good friend, uh, you know, told me about that record, you know, told me about the Nick Gravenitis, My Labors record, you know, Jimmy Vivino, actually, my mind is drawn a blank. <laughs> Jimmy Vivino played for me not too long ago, maybe a year ago or so, played me the My Labors, and that was just set me off. I listened to that record and just became obsessed with listening to Mike Bloomfield because Mike Bloomfield was sort of a full service guitar player. You know, he could play country blues, he could play Chicago blues, he could play all these different styles and knew what that fabric, you know, the fabric of those different genres were made of. Well, those different blues styles were made of, you know. And Peter Green, to me, the thing that really set me off about Peter Green was his writing, you know, because I'm hearing this stuff not as it's coming out. I'm hearing it, you know, like the songwriting. I'm hearing things like Green Manalishi and different songs like that. You know, so I'm like, man, this guy is writing. You know, he is so amazing, you know, and it always felt like he was, you know, about the music and about soul and about connecting with something, you know, be it however, you know. And and that's the thing that really moved me was his soulful guitar playing and singing and his writing. You know, it was sort of like the full package, you know. And it's just all about 100% soul and the vibrato and just the tone and the way he would move you, you know, by playing with his vibrato and different things, you know. That really just moved me. You know, so in today's time when we have a lot of uh, guitar players that, play, you know, maybe more notes and things like that, which I do myself from time to time, you know, which is all good, you know. It's good to refresh yourself on these players from this uh, 60s generation, you know, as well as all the blues and stuff that's going on, you know, the more straight-ahead Chicago blues and uptown blues and things like that, you know, like T-Bone Walker, B.B. King, Freddie King, Albert King, Hubert Sumlin, Jody Williams, you know, all of these guys, you know, so if you can come up with, you know, listening to all of those different things, it's like really a beautiful thing, you know. So yeah, I mean, I just wanted to take a little time and play a little bit and play my, pay my tributes to, you know, guys like Peter Green and Mike Bloomfield. It's just amazing. So hopefully you all have a wonderful uh, rest of your Wednesday today. And um, yeah, I'll be back with you real soon. <laughs> Take care.